Yes. All right, so at the top of the page, multiplying polynomials. We've already multiplied a monomial times a polynomial, but today we're going to multiply polynomials. So it can be binomial times binomial. It can be binomial times trinomial. And I can even throw at you, which I don't see one on here. Oh, we do, number seven, trinomial times trinomial. We can do three terms times four terms. It just becomes a longer process. Okay, but at the side, when multiplying polynomials of any side, all we do is use the distributive property. You can stack, so I'll do a couple by stacking like terms as we multiply, or you can just simply write the expression left to right. Okay, so if you take a look at the example that's given, the steps are here, you can use it as a checklist. They first multiplied 2x times x squared. There's that product. And then next, 2x times negative 4. So there's that product. So distribute the first member all the way through. And then distribute the next member, so distribute the 9 all the way through. 9 times x squared's here. And then 9 times negative 4 last. Once you multiply, you have to look at the expression that's there to see if you can combine any like terms. So in this expression here, we have an x cubed term, x to the first, x squared, and no x. No like terms simply just means we write it in standard form, highest to lowest. Okay? Questions? All right, so let's look at the first one. Number one, a binomial times a binomial. So let's start by distributing the y all the way through that second parenthesis. So the first one, y times y is y squared. And then y times a negative 2 is negative 2y. Distributing the 4 through, and I'll write it all left to right, but again, you can stack. So positive 4 times y is a positive 4y. And then a positive 4 times a negative 2 is a negative 8. Now you need to look at the expression to see if you can combine like terms. And it's typically, if you can combine any, your two middle terms. And they are like terms. So the negative 2y and a positive 4y, when you combine as a positive 2y, and you simply bring down the other two terms. If you look, it is in standard form, so highest to lowest exponent. So that's done. All right, number two. So then starting by distributing the 2x through, so 2x times 2x, multiply the coefficients, 2 times 2 is 4, and then x times x is x squared. Distributing the 2x to that second term in that expression, 2x times negative y, remember there is a negative 1, so 2 times negative 1 would be negative 2, and then x times y, because they don't have a like base, we can't add exponents, we just simply write the xy product. So the last one I wrote, the terms left to right, this time I'll stack any like terms in this next distribution under the like terms that I already have. Okay, so y times 2x would be 2xy. You could say y2x, that is correct, but in <coughs> standard form, the 2 always goes first, and then we typically write it in alphabetical order. So uh, y times 2x is a positive 2xy. I just stacked it right underneath its like term. And then positive times negative is negative. Y times Y is Y squared. Now when you combine straight down, there's nothing to combine with the 4X squared, so just bring it down. And then what is a negative 2XY combined with a positive 2XY? 4X squared, Y squared? No. Remember when adding, the exponents don't change. We add the coefficient in front. What is a negative 2 plus 2? zero. And zero xy is just zero. So these cancel out. That's the additive inverse property. Whenever you add the opposite, it becomes zero. So then I just bring down the negative y squared. Can't combine a y squared with an x squared. Okay, they're not like terms. So here's my answer. Number three, find the product of those two binomials. Product means to multiply. So we're going to multiply 2a plus 2 times negative 4a minus 3. So I'm going to write it out. 
So they're right next to each other. No symbol in between means multiplication. Okay, so when the parentheses are touching, that's a product, and we multiply. So distributing the first term through, 2a times negative 4a is negative 8. a times a, we're multiplying, becomes a squared. 2a times a negative 3 is negative 6a. Now distributing the 2 through. I'm going to write it all left to right. 2 times negative 4a is negative 8a. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. The only like terms are the a's, which are right in the middle. So bring down the negative 8a squared. Combining these two, negative 6 and negative 8, when you're adding, you only change the coefficient in front, be negative 14, the a stays the same, and then minus 6. All right, number 4. Number 4 says you're going to square that binomial. Okay, you, whenever it says to square a binomial, square a trinomial, you want to expand it. Write it out twice. You never want to just do the 3 squared and the 7 squared because you're not going to get the multiplication of all four terms. Okay, so you always write it out twice and do your full distribution. Okay, so 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times a negative 7 is negative 21x. And then negative 7 times 3x is negative 21x. Those two middle terms will always be the same. Whenever you multiply a binomial times itself, you're going to get the middle terms to be exactly the same. And then negative 7 times negative 7 is a positive 49. Combining the two like terms in the middle, we've got 9x squared minus 42x plus 49. One more in five. I think she's just trying to reiterate. Again, we don't just square the four and square the two. You have to write it out twice. So this would be negative 4g plus 2h times negative 4g plus 2h. So why don't you go ahead and take a minute and multiply the binomial times itself in number five. Same process as number four. So the line before you combine like terms should be negative 4g times negative 4g, a positive 16g squared. The outside term, negative 4 times positive is negative 8. And then g times h is hg, or gh. We always write it in alphabetical order just to be consistent. Okay? And then 2h times negative 4g, there's the negative 8, gh. And as I mentioned, those two terms will always be the same. And then last, positive 2 times positive 2 is positive 4, and then h squared. So combining the two middle terms be 16g squared minus 16gh plus 4h squared. In number 6, just making it a little bit longer. Not more challenging, but maybe it just gives you more opportunity to make mistakes. Go nice and slow. In number six, we're going to do a binomial times a trinomial. And here, I will stack. Okay, I'm going to stack the like terms. So I'm going to distribute the x all the way through. And all that's going to do is add an x to every term. So x times x squared would be x cubed. 
x times negative 3x would be negative 3x squared. And then x times 5 is 5x. As I distribute that positive 4 through, I'm going to stack it under its like term. So then positive 4 times x squared, say it to yourself first, it's 4x squared. So that goes underneath the negative 3x squared because they're like. And then a positive 4 times a negative 3x would be negative 12x. And then 4 times 5 is a positive 20. Now combining straight down, rather than all left to right, there's nothing to combine with the x cubed, so just bring it down. Remember, the x squared is not going to change. Negative 3 plus 4 is a positive 1. We don't write the 1. Positive 5 minus 12 is a negative 7, keeping the x the same. And then positive 20. Yep, one more page. And then number seven, just making it a little bit longer. So we're actually going to do three terms now times, so a trinomial times another three. So trinomial times trinomial. So therefore, when I stack, I'm going to have three lines. Okay, so let's distribute the x all the way through. Or the x squared, rather. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth minus x squared times 7x would be 7x cubed. And then x squared times 12 would be 12x squared. And you'll notice a pattern too when you stack. Okay, this is not always the case, but both trinomials are in standard form, highest to lowest exponent. So when I did the other one, okay, you can see how this one lined up under that second column. So that should happen if they're in standard form. So as I do this next product, 2x times x squared, well x times x squared is x cubed, so 2x times x squared would be 2x cubed. That's one column over. Okay, 2x times negative 7x is negative 14x squared. And then 2x times 12 is going to be 24x. So when we do the next product, what column do you think that's going to fall under, that first term, that first product? The first, second, or third column? Third. Third. It's going to be over one. So let's distribute. And then the next one's easy because we're distributing a one. So one times anything is itself, but be careful because it's a negative one. So the positive x squared is going to change to a negative x squared. Then negative 7x is going to change to a positive 7x. The negative, as you distribute, is just going to change the sign. And then negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. So combining straight down, there's no other x to the fourth. Negative 7 plus 2 is a negative 5, keeping the x cubed the same. And then what is 12 minus 14 minus 1? Negative 3. Just combining the numbers out front. Keeping the x squared the same. And then 24 plus 7 is? positive 31, good, minus 12. In number 8, we have three expressions we're going to multiply. Okay? Multiplication is commutative, so you can multiply in any order. Do you guys have a preference of order? You can multiply in any order, you'll get the same thing. You can multiply the two binomials first, and then multiply by the 2x, or we can do the first two. Want to start with the first two? All right, let's multiply those two first and get the product. So distributing just the 2x through, we get 6x squared, 2 times 3 is 6, x times x, x squared, minus 2xy. Now we need to take that binomial and multiply it by x plus 2y. Okay, so now distributing 
Just go nice and slow. 6x squared times x would be 6x cubed. 6x squared times a positive 2y would be 12x squared y. Can't multiply an x squared times a y, meaning add your exponents because they're not, they don't have the same base. So we just write the product. And then now distributing negative 2xy times x. We can do the x times x, which becomes the x squared. So negative 2x squared y, which can be combined with that. And then to finish, I'm running out of room, it would be negative 4xy squared. It's negative 2 times positive 2. Combining like terms, there's no other x cubed, so writing 6x cubed. A positive 12 minus 2 is a positive 10, keeping the x squared y, and then minus 4xy squared. So 9 is a little bit different. 9 has both multiplication and addition. So before you can add, and you can only add this to a like term. So we got to see if we get a like term when we multiply. So go ahead and distribute. What's the product of those two binomials? So go ahead, you multiply in your paper. I'll do it up here on the board, and then we can compare. And then we'll see if we can add that 2w squared minus 12. Your product match. I didn't do any combining of like terms yet. You can combine and then see if you can combine again, but it just makes sense to bring down the line from above and do all the combining in the same step. So the highest exponent is a 2. It has to be in standard form, so I'm going to box them. We have a negative 3w squared plus 2w squared. So in combining those two like terms, it would be a negative w squared. Who can tell me the next term in our answer? Combining the w's now, what would be the term or the coefficient in front of the w? We have a positive 4w minus 6w. A negative 2. Good. So minus 2w and then a positive 8 and then a negative 12 would be a negative 4. Let's break up the work in the last one, with it being our first day back. In the last one, okay, so we're going to split it up between the room. In number 10, we have to take this product, and from that product, we subtract this product. So the multiplication comes first, just like in your order of op. So let's have this side of the room, so the left side of the room, you guys do this product. Then we're going to take your answer. And then we're going to subtract it, and then you guys on the right are going to do that product. So get the answers, and then we'll take the answers and subtract them. So you have to multiply first, we'll share the work, and then we'll subtract to finish. Yep, now just combine like terms. 
So you just work on that one, get the answer, and then the other side of the room is doing that product. Looking for some of those products, either on the left side, right side. Olivia, do you have the answer for 10, the left side? Um, 2a squared minus 5ab minus 12b squared. Yes. So the left side, you, sh you guys should have gotten 2a squared minus 5ab minus 12b squared. Now I'm going to look, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Minus 12b squared. Now what about the right side? What do we get over here? Anyone on this side share their answer? Ours? A squared minus 5AB plus 6B. 6B squared. squared, yes. So the right side is A squared minus 5AB plus 6B squared. Okay, just to kind of quickly go through if you miss something, the only thing you really need to be careful of, so you've got the 2a times a, 2a squared on both sides. a times a, a squared. It's easy to do the first and last. 3b times negative 4b is negative 12b squared, and then negative 2b times negative 3b is positive 6b squared. This middle term, okay, there's a little saying, this middle term is your little smile, big smile of two binomials. So the little smile right here, uh, 3b times a would be 3ab. The big smile would be negative 8ab. So do like a quick check, little smile, big smile, that middle term is going to mean this product, 3ab minus 8ab, which is the negative 5ab. That's always for the middle. We do a little smile, big smile. So a little smile over here, negative 2b times a is negative 2ab. And then a times negative 3b is negative 3ab to give you that negative 5ab. Okay, so little smile, big smile, little trick. Now we need to finish by subtracting. So as I subtract, I'm going to uh, stack. So this becomes a negative a squared. So I'm going to put it underneath the first one. This negative times negative becomes a positive 5ab, which is going to cancel that out. And then last, negative times 6b squared is negative 6b squared. Now to combine, 2a squared minus a squared is a squared, and negative 12 minus 6 is negative 18.